Hey everybody, hello. Welcome back to Let's Get Vocal with Rena. Today we're going to talk about a huge, huge subject, breath. And I titled it, Breath is Voice. Because I can't underestimate too much the importance of breath to sound. Now, breath is a topic that, that is really hot right now and has been for a number of years. We know about breathing and yoga. We know about breathing and marathon runners. We know about a kind of breath for Pilates. We know that singers have to master breath. What I encourage is for us to develop a flexible, responsive breath system that is, is flexible for any situation. Now, I want to talk about the two types of breath that, that we need to be aware of. The first type of breath is breath to sustain life. And you're all doing that really well. You are here, you are with me, you are alive, you are sustaining life. And when we are breathing to sustain life, the inhale is a little longer than the exhale. So we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It doesn't take a lot of muscular effort and we don't have to think about it. Our body does it without thinking. That's how we survive. When we breathe for speech, it has to be a little bit more conscious and a little bit more deliberate. And the inhale is quick and the exhale is longer because we speak on exhaled air. So we have to manage the flow of the exhale all the way to the end of the thought. And then we take a quick breath to get ready for the next thought and then we slowly exhale as we're speaking the next thought. So we're going to make a distinction today between the natural rhythm of the breath and breath for speech. When we start working with breath and speech, the minute we bring attention to it, we stop being able to breathe naturally and easily. So a lot of times I start awareness of breath on the floor. This is always my client's favorite part of the lesson when we get to lay on the floor and deep breathe. But it's important that we get the breaths deep and central in our body. When you're on the floor, and you can lay on the floor with me, or you can sit up nice and straight in a chair, uh, or lay on a sofa, it's all fine. But I want you to think about your head lengthening and your chin kind of tucking in a little bit so that you're laying on the back of the head right here and not on the top of the head there. So long back of neck and your shoulders are moving away from your earlobe, away and down, and your arms are just relaxed at your side. And just let an easy breath go. A little exhale and pause for a moment. And when you need a breath, release your abdominal muscles. And the belly goes up. As I exhale, my belly goes toward the floor. And as I inhale, my belly goes toward the ceiling. And when we lay on the floor, that happens naturally because gravity kind of assists. And just enjoy laying there and focusing on a couple of rounds of an easy, natural breath. Exhaling, pausing for a moment, and then releasing the abdominal muscles for the next breath to come in. Yeah? Now, as you continue to breathe in that way, focus on the moment when the inhale becomes the exhale. And just watch as I do that a couple of times. Now, now, 
and I'm marking the moment when the inhale becomes the exhale with the word now. 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 Now we're gonna make the statement longer. It's gonna be now, even now, even now, even now. We're gonna exhale. Breath drops in. Now, even now, even now, even now, even now. And just feel the breath propelling those words as we speak on exhaled air. A little exhale. Wait till you need a breath. Release the abdominal muscles and the breath comes in. Now, even now, even now, even now, even now. Now, if you want to continue practicing, you can just shut off the um, video for a moment and just stay on the floor and luxuriate in that. In the meantime, I'm just going to move ahead and talk about the next step where we take it to our feet. Now that we're standing up, we are going to see if we can bring to a standing position the free and released breath that we had, that we found on the floor. Now, before I go into that exercise, I want to show you how breath is voice. I'm going to blow out all of my air and then speak and let you hear what I sound like without breath. <sighs> Hi. My name is Rena, and this is what I sound like with no breath. Hi, my name is Rena, and this is my voice on breath. The only difference I did was to take a breath and feel the breath moving out of my body as I speak. We speak on exhaled air. The more breath we have, the more voice we have. The first part of this prescription for volume is breath. You want a bigger voice? You have to have more breath. So uh, the other reason for breath is that it helps to control performance anxiety. Deep central breathing keeps us calm. So I'm going to teach you the calm breath pattern and then we're going to begin to apply breath to voice. When you're trying to maintain your calm and your balance, think slower, deeper, quieter, calmer. Spend a moment, close your eyes, and just focus on breathing more slowly in and out more slowly. Focus on the breath going deeper into your torso. With each breath, it goes deeper. Quieter means there's no sound as you inhale, no sound as you exhale, and then calmer as you feel your jaw release, your tongue peel away from the roof of your mouth, and your shoulders relax down. And if you maintain that mantra as you are preparing to give a speech or a presentation, slower, deeper, quieter, calmer, that will keep the fight or flight response from taking hold in your body. Now, back to breath for voice. Now, the way it works, just a real quick anatomy lesson, your brain says, time to talk. The first thing that happens is the abdomen releases and the diaphragm contracts down. And this action of the diaphragm triggers a negative air pressure in your torso and air comes in all by itself to equalize the pressure. So in order for that process to happen, we have to attend to abdominal release. These muscles move out of the way. The diaphragm can make its full journey down as it contracts. That means a lot of space is opened up here for the breath to fill our lungs. When our lungs have enough breath, 
the process reverses, the diaphragm begins a slow ascent back to its resting spot, and the abdominal muscles manage the flow of the exhale. Remember, we speak on exhaled air. So a little bit of engagement here powers the sound. If I want more power, I gear up these muscles. I engage them a little bit more. I soften my knees so that I don't um, tighten or lock my knees, and I dial up the energy here as I am exhaling for sound. Yeah? Good. Now, the sequence of exercises that I'm going to teach you will help you build a responsive breath and take it into voice. So the first thing I want you to do is to find your base, feet hip width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, weight evenly distributed, and put a hand here on your belly. Soften your knees. And the first thing we're gonna do is blow out all of our air like this. And then hold it. Just wait a moment until you need a breath and then let a breath come in by releasing the abdominal muscles. And the breath comes in all by itself. Do it again. <sighs> Blowing out all your air and waiting. And when you feel like you'd like a breath, release your abdominal muscles under your hand. And the breath comes in. Let's do that one more time. Blowing all the air out. <sighs> a little more. <sighs> and wait. Now release the abdominal muscles and the next breath comes in. Do that several times until you engage abdominal release. We are a society that worships the flat stomach. Breathing effectively for speech, we have to make friends with the belly. We have to release it on the inhale. All right. The next exercise is called the recoil breath. And this helps your body to learn that the belly recoils out all by itself. You don't have to make it and you don't have to gulp in air. And it looks like this. Join me, do it with me. Put a hand on your belly, blow out all your air. Inhale. Release, shh, shh, release, shh, shh. Did you feel that? The belly automatically recoils. The shh, shh is just emptying my lungs and the silence is the belly recoiling out, the next breath coming in and I'm ready. Do that three or four times just to remind your body that the abdominal release is the key. The next step is to find the natural rhythm of the breath without the effort. We're going to do the same thing we just did, but without the effort. Keep your hand here, your knees soft, there you go, and just easily exhale. Just, it's like a little F at your mouth, and just make it totally silent, a little silent exhale, and wait, and then release your belly and exhale, wait, release your belly. One more time, exhale, wait, release your belly. Now continue doing that as I talk and I want you to find the moment when the inhale becomes the exhale. Focus on that moment. The inhale becomes the exhale that's the key. That's the moment of readiness to speak. Mark that moment with the word now, and I'll show you. Now. Now. Do it with me. When the inhale becomes the exhale. Now. Again. Now, and now let's do now, even now, even now, even now. So it's a longer phrase and feel your abdomen, feel your abdomen work as you are supporting 
the exhale. Now, even now, even now, even now. Release. Now, even now, even now, even now. One more. Release for the inhale. Now, even now, even now, even now. And now I would take this exercise into your speech. And I'm just going to do a couple of sentences from my favorite Susan B. Anthony speech and show you how to match breath to word. I'm going to keep my hand here to remind myself to release on the inhale and to engage on the exhale. I'm going to start with a little imperceptible exhale. Release. Friends and fellow citizens, I stand before you today under indictment for the alleged crime of having voted at the last presidential election without having a lawful right to vote. I'm just breathing at the punctuation or at thought shifts. And all I do all the way through that run through of that speech is to just focus on breathing at punctuation. More specifically, focusing on releasing my belly. So the breath drops in and then I speak engaging the abdominal muscles all the way through to the end of the thought. And when I come to the punctuation, I release and the next breath is there to fuel the next sentence. Do that as part of your daily work as you are preparing a speech, your 60 second pitch, whatever it is you need to present, practice it with breath so that your body knows where to breathe and how to breathe just as clearly as you know what it is you are going to say. Breath is a huge topic and it's one that you need to work at every day. In my world, every opportunity is a chance to work on deep central breathing. When I'm standing at the grocery line and waiting, I focus on deep breathing. When I'm waiting at stoplights and the traffic is not moving, I say this is an opportunity to focus on deep central breathing. It not only reconnects me with deep central breath, but it keeps me calmer in the stresses of life. So that concludes our mega session on voice is breath or breath is voice. And I want you to remember at every moment, breathe deeply. Speak your truth boldly, and the world will listen. Bye-bye.